uh, is it true you entered the CIA formally during the Korean War, and if so, what type of assignments did you have during the war? Well, I went into the CIA right after the start of the Korean War in the summer of 1950 because I thought that I'd be back in service in some fashion. I was a reserve officer. I might as well do something that I knew something about, like CIA, rather than go off into the artillery that I'd left a number of years before. That's right. So instead of sending me to Korea, they sent me to, to uh, Stockholm. Whew. And in Stockholm, it was my job to work with various people in that neighborhood to prepare for the eventuality that the Soviet forces moved and took over Western Europe. Yes. And we would then have the job of producing a resistance underground uh, the way we had during World War II. And the question is, could we make that job a little easier by doing a little work ahead of time? And had to, obviously keeping it secret because you didn't want to announce it because if any invader took over, they would immediately arrest everybody. Sure. So it was an effort to lay down some supplies, and get some networks going, and do some training so that we were prepared if that eventuality occurred. It didn't, which is just as well, but it was part of being prepared for the advent of a Soviet move toward the West. Yes, interesting, interesting. So at this point, I assume you've left the law practice, and now you're full-time CI. full-time, yes. Yes. I was in Stockholm for about two and a half, three years, and then I was asked to go down to Italy the mid-1950s, where I participated in the very serious political struggle we had there between the communists and the, and the center democratic parties of Italy, Yes. And, uh, helping our side, the democratic elements, not the right wing or anything, but the, but the center, Christian Democrats, Social Democrats, and so forth, to stand up against the communist subversive effort, which the Soviet Union was paying for and stimulating. Yes. And it, was a, it was a match. Uh, we had stopped them with the NATO on the regular military side. We had stopped them on the economic side with the Marshall Plan. And the question is, well, could they take us over subversively? And so this was what the battle was all about.